a tour to military deployments by the Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Yakuba A. Drame, has ended on Tuesday at the Joint Service Headquarters in Banjul. As the tour is meant to assess the living conditions of deployed troops, some of the challenges faced by soldiers range from lack of access to water and electricity to low pay, amongst others. Mariama Cham tells us more. The Army Chief rounded the 2021 nationwide tour to military deployments across the country on Tuesday, where the aim of the tour is to assess military troops and their working conditions in various bases across the country. As they were offered the opportunity to talk to the high command without taking the long chain of communication, soldiers said their problems and concerns to the army bus. Issues raised ranging from lack of access to water and electricity, especially in some military bases across the country to low pay. Some of the bases visited by the army chief, soldiers pleaded with him to help them provide access to water as they travel afar in order to get water on a daily basis. As electricity is a national concern, the CDS reveals that his office has been making numerous visits and follow-ups to the National Water and Electricity Company in order to look into the issues but yet to yield progress. The CDS started the day at the State Guards where he had a meeting with the troops on issues of concern including the well-being of the armed forces. Lieutenant General Yakuba A. Drame was received at the Joint Service Headquarters by the Deputy Chief of Defense Staff Major General Mohamed O. Cham and other senior ranks of the Joint Services. Major General Mohamed O. Cham, the Deputy Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, hailed the efforts of the CDS upon his completion of the military tour. Deputy CDS Cham took the opportunity to relay the problems faced by the Joint Services Headquarters, which include lack of office space, among other issues, retarding the administrative work of the Armed Forces Joint Services. Basically, sir, at this Joint Services Headquarters, the complaints have been lack of office space and the wear wheels in some of them with which to perform the command and other administrative responsibilities that the general officers and the officers serving under them would need to be able to address the wider challenges of their respective commands. I have no doubt that you've taken those things on board and uh, without letting the cut out, I know that you know you have ambitious plans which once you get the right footings will surpass our expectation. Accommodation being a major obstacle of the army, a structure is being built at the Farafania barracks so as to cater for soldiers living outside the barracks as the army chief describes it not the best. Last year when I went round to all the military installations, I was able to make comparative analysis in terms of the conditions of soldiers in the respective barracks. One that caught my attention was the Farafenyak barracks. I observed with dismay that some of the soldiers, three of them, live in one room, one single room. Why? There is no enough accommodation in, Fajara, in, Yunuba, in Farafenyak camp. Some of your colleagues, they are living outside barracks. That was, to me, not the best. CDS Drama says after observing the conditions of these issues, he says a solution must be found. The command visited the president and then the National Assembly where a budget was approved, which started the construction of an accommodation structure at the Farafania Barracks, which is expected to cater for over 100 men. As priority is given to the construction of Farafania Barracks, the same plan will apply to other barracks, including Basse, as soon as the Farafania 1 is completed. So defense staff of the Gambia Armed Forces Lieutenant General Yakuba A. Drame just ended his 12 days military, deploy, military tour deployment to various uh, military bases across the country here at the Joint Service Headquarters in Banjul. Now, during their face-to-face -face with the army bus, most of the challenges raised by personnel of the Gambia Armed Forces is lack of access to water, electricity, and that of low pay. Now, in response to some of these challenges by the army bus, he said his office will look into the issues as soon as possible in order to provide um, solutions to some of these challenges. Now, with regards to accommodation, a construction is being um, built at the fire, at the Farafania Barracks, where it will cater for almost 100 men if the building is completed. Reporting for iAfrica News, this is Maria Macham.